About six years ago, I took a trip to Iceland um, in the spring. It was only a small trip. It was a school trip, just a few of us. But it was one of those trips that happened at the right time. You know, when you go somewhere and you feel that you really needed it, you didn't realize how much you needed it until you were there, you know, and that's what that trip did for me. So I felt ever since that I've wanted to revisit that feeling. I wanted to get a sense of maybe why was it? Why did it happen? Why did I feel something so uh, special there? And maybe by returning, I could get a sense of what that specialness was. Minus years old. Um, he sent me a message on Facebook saying, Hey, I'm starting this food company. Do you think you would, would like to be a guide? Try it out. Just think about it. And I said, You know, I'll think about it. And within 30 seconds, he replied with, Oh, that is great. Pickup starts to Tomorrow morning at eight. I was like, why not? That's it. I started. I, I loved it from day one. I mean, it kind of unites everything I love about life: nature, being outdoor, and meeting new people. Since I liked it, I kept doing it. I kind of make a promise to myself after quitting hiking that I would never work again unless it would fill my life with joy. There was a point when the rain was coming down and you were looking at something, you are looking at water or ice and these other things. You, you kind of remember, you know you've seen them before but they're still right here. And you have a feeling of, oh, what am I doing? Why am I here? Why is... It's right here but I can't seem to grasp it in the way I want to. It's so visceral, it's so powerful, it's so hypnotizing, but yet I couldn't seem to get a handle on it while I was looking at it. And you start thinking about it, kind of, you just, you almost feel like you're kind of a it's voyeurism of nature, you're just looking at things and not really thinking about wider implications or you almost feel that 
it's just a kind of you're just looking and that's it and what else do you do you just look and you take the photos if you want to and you go get some food and, and then on to the next place and it did start to feel like that and you do start to feel very conscious about your own relationship with the nature you're seeing DNA, I guess. The elements of nature, I mean, the, the closeness you get to the raw power of Mother Nature is quite unique in every aspect of it. It's huge waves coming and crashing into our beaches, and you can almost just you can sense the power of life, just hearing the thunders. Power of the water it kind of draws everything out. The glaciers, you've seen some of them. I mean, being in an ice cave, seeing that blue compressed ice, hundreds and hundreds of years old. From my tours, I, I hope you take away joy, first and last. You get a tiny glimpse to the elements we have. But if you want to really let it sink in, sit down. Close your eyes, listen to it, be it, go up here. You know, that's, that's the only way to really connect and get the raw feeling of nature. It would be my, it would actually make me happy. If it's the case that being somewhere new or experiencing something different is always from our own side, it's always the being there that seemed to matter, just the, the immersion, the permission to switch off, the permission to go, I'm here, I can just be here. 
then I'm, I let Iceland in. Then I let the mystery and the magic into to that experience. But if that's true, then I can do that anywhere. 